how to create and open your own Printify account. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with print on demand using Printify. So Printify is a online platform that allows you to get rid of all the hassle of warehousing and producing products. They give you multiple different selections of products and you can create your own designs and get them shipped to yourself or to your customers. So let's get into how you can get started with Printify. So to get started, simply head on over to printify.com and click on sign up on the top right. Now, once you do that, you can sign up with your email address and a password. So I am just going to sign up with Google to make this a bit faster. And that is all you require. So once you have completed that, it will ask you a couple of questions. So I'm just going to add this and I just want to get started and just like that in a few clicks our new store on printify has started now the best part about using printify is that you can choose to sell on shopify etsy or any other platform and you can link your printify account so you guys can see this is our particular store and what you're going to do if you want to link your store is that you can click on over here in your store checklist so you can click on over here or go into your store settings and you will have your store name. So I'm going to change the name first into maybe Amy's Designs like this. And then I'm going to click on save. Then I have Printify Connect. So what you're going to do is you can go ahead and a link with Printify Connect or you can go into your dashboard and connect to Etsy, um, Shopify, TikTok, Walmart, whichever platform you want. Now let's get started with actually building our designs on Printify because that's the most important part. Well, to do that, you can go into your dashboard and you will see some trending products. Then on the left, you have your catalog. Now your catalog is the section which allows you to see all the types of products that you can create using Printify. So for example, we have women's clothing, men's clothing, kids' clothing, accessories, home and living, and you have different categories. So let's say I want to build a blanket. So I'm going to go into home and living and then go into blanket. Now for each individual item, you have multiple different suppliers and you have multiple different variations of that product. So we have crushed blankets, snuggles blankets, boho blankets, baby blankets, Sherpa blankets, and you might have almost the exact listing for different products. So you will see uh, two different types of the same thing. This is a Sherpa blanket and we have a Sherpa fleece blanket on the top as well. Now, another thing to note is that you will also see the supplier. So it's generic brand. This is also generic brand. Then we have generic brand. We have Terrytown. This is another supplier. So this can also help you differentiate the different types of products you have. In the left, you can also choose your target market for your particular products that you will be designing. Now I'll go back into the catalog and I'll show you guys another example. Now this is um, a women's t-shirt. Now even for a women's t-shirt you have multiple different products available at multiple different prices. All of these are almost the same product but they have minimal differences. Now keep in mind these minimal differences can be a very large difference depending on the type of target market you have. So some of these might be made of 100% cotton, some of these might have a mixture now this is a 100% cotton t-shirt. If I go into maybe this one over here, this is cotton jersey and the fabric content may vary for different colors. Then we have this one over here. This is this particular type of material. So, you know, you have all the details provided to you. It's upon your own discretion to see which one you want. Now, this is a light fabric, so you might want to design this for a summer pattern and so on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, uh, we're going to go ahead and build a home product. I'm going to go with my blanket over here, and I am just going to go with this one. And once I open up my particular blanket, this is a polyester blanket, so I'm going to go with a different one. I'll go with this, this sweatshirt blanket over here, or maybe let's go into our price points print types let's go with a fleece sherpa blanket this looks pretty good now after that you guys will see the basic color so this is only provided in one basic color which is beige and i think that's fine for my particular design 
and then you will see the price and the price with Printify Premium, the location of this particular print, you know, with this particular supplier, and then the shipping and production time. Now I'm just going to click on start designing and I will proceed over here. Now this is the overall size of the blanket and the blanket has one Sherpa side that has no print and then I can add my own print. On the left you will see your different options such as adding text, you can go into your library where you can upload your own graphics. Then you can even go into the graphics section to see some of the pre-made graphics available on Printify. Then you also have some templates, paid content that you can use, services, as well as AI-based images that you can generate. So this is another great tool you can use to build a very unique design. And you guys can see there are a few examples. Let's say I want to build a cute graphic of a dog and a girl. And the style that I want is maybe going to be fantasy or line art or let's say we want this to be fantasy art and then i'll just click on generate image and you have 14 daily attempts with the printify image generator so you can really do a lot with this you can even enhance your prompt and get you know a really unique design so let's just wait for our design to be completed so our image has been generated i'll just take this image over here and we can start designing we can incorporate more elements into this as well so if you want you can further enhance the design with more elements you will see different variations of sizes as well so make sure that the print or the image that you are generating fit well within the design that you have so if you put in like a really low quality or low resolution image and it doesn't translate well into your print it's not going to look good the colors are not going to be saturated and the image might not look as good as you might want you can also incorporate text into this this could be your branding as well with jamie's design like this and i can just place that over here and reduce the size as well and this is our image so we would have to you know increase it and then it's going to give you a notification on the left that this is now becoming a low resolution image so i would have to upgrade the resolution of this image or the print to be accurate so let's say i just want to put in this like that and then after that you can click on save product on the bottom right once you have completed that you will see a price setter so you have a retail price that you can set and the profit that you will receive you can alter this to adjust your profit and the profit margins let's say i want a 20 percent profit margin if i'm just starting out and then i can save this as a draft and then later on publish it on my store so in this way you can create and open your own print device store and you can link it to your Shopify store or any other third-party app that you are using. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.